Look at that, less than 10 seconds. And we're up. It boots quick, it runs really snappy. It's, I'm honestly impressed after not using Windows for years and years. I gotta say, this tiny version of Windows 11 is a pretty decent OS. So, Tiny 11 gets rid of all of Microsoft's bloatware uh, and all the applications that nobody uses anyway and just bog the system down and really drain its resources. So this is like a streamlined version of Windows 11. Now, hey everyone, what's going on? Sam Spade here. Um, just wanted to shoot a quick video because uh, I'm super excited. I got Windows 11 running on the MacBook Pro. And this is uh, actually not the official Windows 11. This is uh, Tiny 11, which has been blown up as of late on YouTube. There's been a lot of videos on it. And I was able to get this running on the MacBook Pro using Mac OS's uh, boot camp. And there was a few hiccups that I ran into. So uh, in my next video, I'm gonna be installing Windows 11 on the one terabyte hard drive. Um, but I haven't torn this thing open yet, and I was just messing around because uh, I wanted to do some back-end testing before I record the video. But I uh, just want to share with you guys because I was super excited that I was able to get Windows running on here. And it is running super, super smooth. Um, it recognizes everything with all of Apple's bootcamp drivers. So we got the 16 gigs of RAM here. And this tiny version of Windows 11 only runs uh, idling 1.8 gigabytes of RAM, which is crazy because I don't even think the Mac OS runs that low. Now, I honestly, I love Mac OS and I have not used Windows in a long time, but inevitably in your computer travels, you come along or come across apps that only run in Windows or you need a certain utility and it's only available on Windows. So I like to either have a VM like a virtual machine of Windows or a native install of Windows because the VMs are great, but you run into a lot of hiccups like plugging in USBs and not being able to connect to things. So I like to have a native version of Windows and this streamlined version of Windows 11 just runs fantastic. Uh, so it's idling at about 1.8 gigabytes of RAM usage. It does recognize the 16 gigs of RAM in this machine. Uh, the 2012 MacBook Pro CPU idles very low as well. We got 3%, 4%. Uh, it really is a snappy OS on this uh, 2012 MacBook Pro. And ag again, it they got rid of like all the applications. And so much so that when you finish up the install, uh, it doesn't even have a web browser, but you do have access to the Microsoft Store. So you can just hop into the Microsoft Store and download a browser. I downloaded Opera. Opera is a fantastic browser, if anybody's used it. It's got a built-in ad blocker as well, and just a ton of other features that most other web browsers do not have. So uh, this is Windows 11 running on my 2012 MacBook Pro. And it is dual boot, so I can show you guys that. If we go ahead and restart, and I'll show you guys. Uh, when you restart, go ahead and hold down the option key again, because we are still running OpenCore Legacy Badger. When you first start up, you're gonna get EFI boot and Ventura, so continue to hold Alt and go to the EFI, and we've got Windows and Ventura. And now, again, Windows 11 Lite, or excuse me, Windows 11 Tiny is so quick. Watch this. Look at that, less than 10 seconds.